Down here in Greenwich Village, a hot spot for tours is here, outside of the Irving House, where it is believed that Washington Irving wrote The Legend of Sleepy Hollow while staying with his sister. However, The Legend of Sleepy Hollow was published in 1820. This house wasn't completed until 1826. Also, on the placard it says Washington Irving Jr. Washington Irving's father's name was William and he had no son, so the reasoning behind this is beyond me, and if anyone knows the answers, please write so in the comment section. But what this does is give me an excuse to talk about one of my favorite New Yorkers, Washington Irving. Arguably the first international celebrity to come out of the United States, he was certainly the first American writer to be accepted by European writers like Charles Dickens and Walter Scott, and is considered to be the father of American literature, and his influence can still be felt today. The youngest of 11 children, Washington Irving was born in 1783, just one week after the end of the Revolutionary War. His family lived here on William Street, once a quiet, quaint little neighborhood, now in the middle of a financial district. At age six, he meets his namesake, George Washington, the same year that he's inaugurated as our first president of the United States, 1789. Nine years later, Irving moves up to Tarrytown, New York, escaping the yellow fever epidemics. Tarrytown is where he's introduced to the adjacent town of Sleepy Hollow, which is now right next door to Irving Tin, named after him, Washington Irving. He would take frequent trips exploring the Catskill mountain range, where many of his stories take place, including his second most famous piece, Rip Van Winkle. Washington Irving wrote under a number of pseudonyms, pen names, nom de plumes, fake names. The major one was Deirdrick Knickerbocker. One of his first major publications was A History of New York from the Beginning of the World to the End of the Dutch Dynasty by Deirdrick Knickerbocker. Now this word, Knickerbocker, can still be used today to describe a New Yorker. Knee breeches are known as Knickerbockers or Knickers. Knickerbocker Royal was a kind of candy. Knickerbocker Beer, Knickerbocker Village is a band, the Knickerbockers. There's also a big one we still use here. What's the big one? The Knicks, our basketball team. The full name of our team is the New York Knickerbockers. It's a ridiculous name, so we just call them the Knicks. Washington Irving was also the first guy to call New York City Gotham. Gotham City is where Batman takes place, but the word Gotham comes from the Anglo-Saxon word goat ham, meaning goat village. And there was a lot of farming around here at the time, so he did see a lot of goats, but he was probably just calling New Yorkers a bunch of goats, as foolish as goats. He was probably onto something. Washington Irving did study law for a time, poorly, it should be noted, and his only real court case was actually defending his friend Aaron Burr after killing Alexander Hamilton in their infamous duel of 1804. Funny side note, Aaron Burr House, 1802, this house wasn't completed until 1830. These signs elude me, and if anyone has any answers, please let us know in the comment section, but I digress. Irving had a prolific career writing fiction, essays, poems, and biographies. He also became the minister to Spain from 1842 to 1846 after an endorsement by Secretary of State Daniel Webster. Washington Irving died November 28, 1859. And he's buried where else? But Sleepy Hollow Cemetery. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe to catch our next episodes and check out a previous episode here. See you real soon.